Hi guys, this is Paige at Couple Books, and you notice that these last three videos I've been wearing the same clothes because I did them all the same day. Um, and I previously did my, my June wrap up and my July TBR, and now I'm here to do my In My Mailbox. So I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got actually in my mailbox, and then I'm going to show you my big haul of books that I got from Barnes & Noble because, as you guys know, my birthday party was last weekend, and I got a lot of money, so I went shopping like the day after my birthday party, and I got a lot of books. Um, I still have books coming, so there should be pretty big hauls in the future, but right now um, I'm going to do my this because it's a huge haul by itself right here, and I don't want to make it a humongo even more haul, so first I'm going to show you the stuff I got in the mail. Um, I didn't get... I did get books, but I'm going to show you the swag that I got today, because I didn't get any books today, I just got swag. So I got this t-shirt, and it's a Light Tamer t-shirt, and I was a part of the um, the blog tour for the Light Tamer. I think it was a blog tour, either it was the blog tour or the cover reveal, I can't remember. But I won two giveaways, and I showed you what I won in the in the past, and then I finally I won this t-shirt. And I won this little bag with a cool bookmark inside of it. I will show you. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. It's awesome. I've been getting a lot of t-shirts lately from the bookish place, the bookish people, and I, and I really enjoy it because I love t-shirts. I also love bookmarks. Bookmarks. <laughs> um, oops. I also, today, I got a surprise in the mail from Alex Liddell. She's the author of The Cadet of Tildor, and I was recently a part of the cover reveal for that book, so she sent me a little thank you card that says thanks for being a part of the cover team and she sent me a cool dog tag that says the cadet of Tildor. I think I might have asked like I might have like the person that put the tour together might have asked if you want some swag send me your address but I can't remember if I did or not maybe I don't remember I can't remember but I did get this and it's pretty cool on to the books in my in actually in my ammo box this week I got a book from an art tour I got survive by Alex Lid uh, Morel. Um, it was really good. I finished it in less than 24 hours and I loved it. Um, the ending had me tearing up a little bit, but I still loved it. So I definitely recommend this book if you guys need something to read that keeps you interested. The suspense is awesome. She's She just survived a plane crash and now she has to survive in the mountains by herself and with this other guy and it's really, really good. And I also want to give away recently from hold on. I have all the I have a little note she sent me so I know her name and stuff. I won this giveaway from Caitlin Tory at Kate's Tales of Books and Bands. And here's her little business card. And here is the note that she sent me. This little card. I won The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. Which I'll show you the swag in a few minutes. And I won Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. Now if you guys watched my In My Mailbox last week, you'll know that I, ha I won... A, fit, a new co a new a copy of Just Listen with the new cover, and and I told you guys that I'm having my blog anniversary giveaway soon, so one lucky person will win this copy and a bunch of swag, not a bunch bunch, but some swag. So hopefully you guys will enter that because Sarah, I've heard Sarah Dustin is amazing. I've only read Lock and Key and that was good, so I can't wait to read more of her books. So hopefully you guys will enter to win this. I'm tr I'm hoping that I'll be able to get more books into the blogversary because it's my big one year blogversary and I, I wanted to make it huge but I'm kind of short on money after spending all of that so hopefully I, I have like 20 bucks hopefully I'll be able to get one more book for you guys but who knows what will happen anyway I'll show you the swag that came with the Sarah Dessen books I got a signed book plate for Scarlet and it says never be afraid to fight like a girl and I love that I can't wait to get the book so I can put this in there and then I got this little signed a uh, card thing about the book, um, If I Lie by Corrine Jackson, never heard of it, but it sounds good and I like the cover. I have a bookmark for Send Me a Sign, and this is signed, I'll show you this, and it's signed. I have a bookmark, which I'm wicked excited for, Curse by Jennifer L. Armantrout, which I just signed up for an ARC tour, hopefully I'll get on, because it looks really good and I can't wait to read it. And then I got a bookmark for Touch the Surface by Kimberly Sab Sabatini. Shine by Jerry Smith Ready, and it's signed. I really have to start the series. I haven't even read Shade yet. If anybody wants to lend me a copy of Shade, I'd be really grateful because I really want to read it. And then last, but I saved this one for last. Actually, I didn't. 
I saved this one for semi last because I really like the bookmark and I can't wait to get the book for Darkness Shows the Stars. And then there's one other bookmark I got that I'm currently using right now. That's why it's not in here, but it's pretty crooked. I like it. So, that is everything that I got in my actual mailbox. Now I'm going to show you my haul from Barnes & Noble, which is pretty big, so hope you guys stay watching. <laughs> I move stuff around so I have room for this big bag on my bed. Alright, you ready? I had to get this huge bag. And I'm really excited because after years and years and years of buying Barnes & Noble books, every year I go, every well, twice a year I go because I go every bir birthday and Christmas, I go and fill up on books. I go more than that, but, like, those are the big times that I get huge piles of books. Um, so every year they're like, do you have a membership for Barnes & Noble? I'm like, no, because I only come, like, twice a year, and I don't want to pay 25 bucks twice a year when I only come. You know what I mean? So, but this year I decided, okay, I'll become a, a member. So I'm finally a member of Barnes & Noble. And I would show you the card, but I do not know where my wallet is at the moment, so I can't show you that. But I'll get onto the book. So, I kept it simple, and I just got sequels. Books that I need to read, that I've, I've already read the series to, and that I just need to keep continuing. So, except for one book, I rewarded myself with one book. I'll show you that at the end. First, I got Glass by Ellen Hopkins. I read Crank a while ago, and I enjoyed it. I read it like that, because it was in verse, and this is in verse 2. So hopefully I'll be able to read this soon, and it'll be quick because I really enjoy Ellen Hopkins' writing. Next, I got City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. It's book three in the Mortal Instruments series. Um, I love the first one. The second one, eh, I was iffy. I didn't love it, but I'm, I'm still going to keep going on because I love the characters and I love the plot. I think that just book two was just slow for me. I didn't really, and I think it because I had to put it down to read an arc book. Um, I think the main was hard. Next up, I got Plague by Michael Grant, and I love this series. I read, I've read the first three, obviously, and I don't have them. I had Lies, but I gave it away because I figured, oh, I'm never going to have the full series, and I'll just read them and give them away, even though they're amazing. So I, I kind of regret that, and I'm hoping to get the first three books in the series again at some point. I don't want to have to pay big bucks for them, but at some point, hopefully. But this is the fourth book, and the fifth book, Fear, just came out not too long ago. And I already saw the cover for the next book. I'm like, there's another book? I'm so excited. But I can't wait to read this one. I'm glad it's in paperback, too. Because when I when I um, read Lies, Plague wasn't in paperback yet, so that's why I didn't pick it up. But now it's in paperback. Next, I got... It's Not Summer Without You. I, I just read um, The Summer I Turned Pretty not too long ago, and I loved it. So I'm excited to read this book and find out what happens next. I think there's like four books left. Next is Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Um, I read, sorry, I read If I Stay maybe about last, I think last month or the month before. And I really enjoyed it, but I'm a little afraid to read this book just because I read the synopsis on the back and it says like her and Adam broke up and, and like all that. And if you haven't read If I Stay, sorry, that was kind of a spoiler. Um, if you haven't read If I Stay, stop listening for a second. But it says on the back that her and Adam broke up and that she's in at Juilliard. And I'm like, what? Because of how the first book ended. And I'm like, well, how does that make sense? So anyway, I'm a little afraid to read it, but I'm going to read it at some point. Next, I got Pretties. Because I read Uglies a long, long time ago. And I never picked up the second book. I gave away, because I, the, the I had the other covers. You know, like, I can't remember what they look like, but... It wasn't these covers. And that book got all smashed up, so I gave it to my cousin, and I picked up a, um, this copy of Uglies down here at the used bookstore a while back. So now I have that copy, and I decided I'd get a copy of Pretties, because the series is good. It was slow at first, but it is good, so I want to keep going. Next up, I got Pretty Little Liars, because I, have, I won the tenth book a while back, and I haven't even read the first book, so I figured I should probably read the first book. I, don't, I haven't watched the show at all. But I have it on Netflix, so I think maybe I'll, I'll read this book and then I'll watch the first season. Or I don't know how that works. If you guys know how that works with the with the books and the and the show, tell me so I so I don't go in blinded. <laughs> so I got that. And then last but not least, it's a book I rewarded myself because it's not a series. It's not a series I've been reading. It's not a series at all. I don't think it's a standalone. 
his 2012 debut, and it's The Summer of No Regrets by Catherine Grace Bond, and I've seen this everywhere, and I absolutely love the cover, so I decided, what the heck, and I picked it up. It was, it was cheap, it was only $8.99, which I, I, I'm glad about. I figured it would be hardcover, but it's not. It's nice and paperback, and it's $8.99, and I picked it up because I love the cover. And it sounds really good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. I know it was extremely long. It's ten minutes long. Hopefully, YouTube lets me upload it, which is why I'm going to stop it now. Thank you for watching, and leave links below. Bye!